All right. So recently I had a conversation with a customer that wasn't aware that it was possible to play some of your local courses around you in a golf simulator or on a golf simulator. So what that means is basically like here we have the program uh, TGC 2019. Uh, let me get out of here and let me go back to main menu. And we're going to go to change courses and I'm going to go to filter my courses. So these are the courses that I've made. Um, so right here we have what I call the the Jaka or whatever. It's the, the, This actual course is called JC's Golf Course. Now this course is in my little town here where I live in Chilcothy, Ohio. And over here we have the Chilcothy Country Club. <clears throat> We have Running Fox. This one was just torn down, also known as River's Edge. And then the VA Golf Course. Now, the reason why this doesn't say uh, JC's on it is because um, this one's still being built, and I don't want to finish it. Um, I don't want to rename it until it's all the way done because there's no way of deleting it once it's in there. So I think, let's see if there's one more in here. Okay, so the, this right here is the, uh, the other VA Golf Courses that I was working on when I was first learning how to do this. So basically, I can come in here and play all four of my local courses whenever I want, and they're spot on accurate. And I can show you um, how that looks. So here is a screenshot of number 10 at JC's, and this is a picture from the tee box of the real course, and then here it is on the simulator. So you can see it's almost identical. Um, there is this, this, this sand trap that's right here. Um, it doesn't have the shadow over it. So here it has a shadow, so it doesn't really stand out as much. But it's spot on accurate. Um, this tree right here could be a little bit smaller. Uh, this tree over here could be bigger. But um, this is just right after I first started building it. So, But you can tell, I mean, the water lines, the, the rays of the, the terrain there is uh, literally like almost spot on. So um, you're probably wondering how do you how to how do you do that? So now with TGC 2019, it comes with a course builder where you can build courses. Now you can build them from just a flat piece of ground, or you can automatically just generate um, a random course. Now to build your local course and play it, there's a few things that you need. So we'll start from the beginning. The first thing you're going to need is a launch monitor. So we come in here. Um, depending on what your budget is. You only have a couple of choices, really, in my opinion. Um, you have the SkyTrack, and uh, this is what I use. And I'm also a a, a seller of uh, SkyTrack, so I can hook you up with one of those if you need one. And then your other option, which is the same price, which SkyTrack is about two thousand dollars. The uh, next thing is the Mevo Plus. Now, the Mevo Plus is also two thousand dollars. But they're two different softwares, or two different um, pieces of hardware that come with different softwares. For example, the SkyTrack sets, if you can see this little picture of this guy here, the SkyTrack sets down here by the ball. And it uses the camera to take a picture of the ball. The Mevo Plus sets back behind the golfer, if I can find a picture of it. And let's see if there's got to be one on here somewhere. Anyway, it sets at least eight feet back behind the golfer, and it uses more of a radar-based system to track the ball. Now, space is an issue with Mevo. Um, the Mevo needs at least eight feet from the Mevo to the ball, and then another eight feet from the ball to the screen or net or whatever you're hitting it into. But in this case, you'll probably be hitting into a screen because you're asked, you're wanting to play your home courses. So. Now, you can do that with either one of these, so it's up to you to decide which one's best for you. Um, the Mevo, if you're indoors, you got to use these little foil dots on your ball, which seems like a pain to me, but um, maybe it's good for you. I know people that like it. Now, you do get more information from the Mevo, so you'll get some angle of attack. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. That's about the only thing on here different from Skytrack. Skytrack does everything else, too, except club head speed. Skytrack generates club head speed. It doesn't actually uh, monitor it. So anyway, so the first step is you need a launch monitor. You need either um, from the beginning, uh, 
I mean, there's more expensive ones, Unicore, you know, Trackman, GC Quad, you know, all those things. Those are up there in price. But um, as a starter one, you either need the Mevo Plus or the SkyTrack. Now, that will just get you a range to hit on. That doesn't give you the ability to play courses. So, SkyTrack does not come with any courses whatsoever. It only comes with this little range that you see right here. Now, you need a simulation plan that goes with it. Now, if you're wanting to play your home courses, the only one that would be uh, for you would be the Golf Club 2019. Now, you can also get the Golf Club 2019 on the Mevo too. But now, Mevo also comes with some um, courses already for iPad. So if it says right here, there's five simulated courses for iOS. Um, Mevo, I think Mevo has somewhere around, we'll say 100 courses. Um, and I, I, I don't know the price of all the courses that come with it. Um, it's E6 Connect is the name of it. Um, I want to say it's a, a good thousand or more just for the courses. And like I said, there's about 100 of them. Um, TGC 2019 is about 200,000 courses. And to be honest, they're not all gems. Some people, anybody that owns TGC 2019 can build a course and post it. So if we go in here to TGC 2019... And we come in here and let's do a search. Let's search for the word crazy. So we'll see if anybody's named a course called crazy. Oddly enough, there's plenty of them. So here's one called fun and crazy course for events. It's got 32 plays, so it must not be that awful. Um, so you got some here. They, most of these have a few amount of plays, so they're not that bad. But you'll get some in here that are just like, like someone built a course here that goes through a city. Um, looks like it's from like building top to building top, like the top of the building. Like you hit from one to the other one. So that'd be kind of fun. But doesn't mean that it's a great course. Now, even if there is 200,000 courses, let's say only 10% are good. That's still 20,000 courses versus 100. So, I mean, TGC has its flaws. Don't get me wrong. There's a couple things that need fixed. Like... Um, there's a first bounce uh, bug that where if your launch angle is so low and it hits the ground, it'll the ball will jump up in the air, and it kind of looks weird. Um, the other thing is it doesn't spin as much as it should. Now E6, it spins way too much. Um, I've demoed E6 and played it, and I can spin a uh, four hybrid back 10, 15 feet sometimes which is ridiculous, and that's not accurate at all. So then it comes down to the options of courses to play. Now, like I said, this has every course in it you can possibly think of. There's some... Um, uh, now, it's only going to have your local courses if somebody already built it or if you build it. Now, you can pay someone to build it, or you can do it yourself. Um, the problem with some courses are you need good LiDAR data for it to come out accurate. Now, let me show you what LiDAR data is. LiDAR data comes from this site, and there's other ones you can get it from too, but basically the way that it works is you come in here and you find your course on the map, and you select it, and it will give you the LiDAR data, which is basically terrain. If you look at this picture here, um, some sort of plane or drone or something flies over. And uh, it's similar to how they do, um, if you've ever seen them do, um, like where they map the bottom of the ocean floor and they, you know, drag something behind a boat, shines down, it does this little radar thing and, you know, bounces back of how deep things are. Same thing, but they do it in the air for the ground. And you will get uh, really, really accurate data that way. Now, if I can find where I'm at right now, I'm trying to find there's one this way. Here I am. So here in Shilakathi. So I would find um, a course like I know. For example, there's a golf course right over here. Let me change this map to. <laughs> Been a minute. There it is. All right. So right there is the country club course right here. So if I wanted that LiDAR data, all I have to do 
is come in here. Oh, they've changed this a little bit since the last time I used it. Yeah, so we're going to draw a... Ah, hang on. Got to do that again. All right. So basically draw a square over the course. And then we're going to search for the products. Products being LiDAR data. So here's the data that we use. Now, what you do is you take this data and you overlay it of a uh, piece of data from software from OpenStreetMap. Now what it is, is here's the same course right here. This is easy. This part's actually kind of fun, I think. You come in here, let me log in. You find your course. You zoom in. And you can see I've already mapped this out. So basically you come in here, and there's a whole video on this on the website, uh, Rocks or Golf, um, how to do this. But you just map the course. Here's a fairway, here's a green, there's bunkers. You map the course, tee box, you know, the um, putting greens, you, know, you can do buildings, you can do houses, all that fun stuff. So when you're done with that, you can export this. So you do the same thing. You basically make a square around this, say manually select area. And this isn't a tutorial on how to do it. This is just how it gets done to where you can play your local courses. So you're going to export this file from this by hitting export. And then you're going to take that data mixed with this data. And you're going to run it through this program called Chad's Tool. I don't know why it's called just Chad's, just Chad's tool. It could have a better name, I guess. But uh, basically, that's the name of the program. Now, once you're done with that and run it through, it will spit out a course file. And that course file gets uploaded on the TGC. All you do is uh, inside of your um, designer here, let me go back to the main menu. Let's say I went through and I came up with the course and I it spit out the software or spit out the program uh, file for me I drop it in a folder and then here's the courses that I'd be working on like here's one here called copper top that uh, I've been slowly working on um, but I can get and open it up we can look at it real quick and it will generate uh, the terrain and, and everything and then you can turn it into a course and then you can play it on your sky track now one thing I skipped over was what TGC actually is. So let me go back to Chrome here. All right. So TGC is originally a game that was built for, well, TGC 2019. There's a difference between TGC and TGC 2019. TGC 2019 is what you would want to use if you want to play your home course. Now, this game was basically built for Xbox uh, PS4, I think. Um, and you can play it you know, using a controller similar to Tiger Woods. Now, a company came along, got with them, called Prote. And what they did was take that software and convert it over to where it works on a simulator. And how it works is it basically just gets rid of the little guy that you see standing there and it uses the data from the launch monitor to send the ball. That's the only difference. And the price. <laughs> this one is like, I think you can buy the computer version for 20 bucks. Um, yeah, you can see on here used versions of like Xbox versions are only 20 bucks. Now for this, it's a one-time fee of close to a thousand or it's like $500 a year. And you can see that in the SkyTrack simulation plans here. If you go to shop now, Mm -hmm. Let's see what the current price is. Yeah, one-time purchase is 900 But uh, actually, a good deal with this is you actually get, um, I think they have a deal where you can get the old version, too. Yeah, the original TGC right here, too. And uh, 
I, I like the old version um, for playing. It's not so good for building courses, but for playing, it, it's pretty fun. So you would need one of these. You would need the TGC 2019 annual purchase or the one time. I have just the one time. But yeah, here's the deal where you get them both for an extra 100 bucks, which is worth it in my opinion. So you upload your course. So here's the course that I was, I was building right here. Let's see what we have here. So these spots right here are where water goes. i got to figure out where I'm at because I don't. I only did like one hole, I think, just to make sure that the data was good. Yeah, right here is the tee box for the first hole. Yeah. So then you can do different tee boxes. So you can say, you know, if you do end up with um, a launch monitor and this program, you know, you can build your course to where you have the, like the pro tees, the white tees, the gold tees, and like the women's tees or something like that. And yeah, looks like I I kind of did all right with this one. Looks like I've just built the one hole, but um, yeah, I did. I put all flags in for the first hole. And if you notice, like the, a lot of this terrain from the green comes out really, really accurate. Like that's really close to what it looks like. And you know, I added in the building and I added in the cart path from the from the data. But like it's right here, it's this needs to be filled up with water still. But you just slowly do it over time. And then I can play this course um, called Copper Top. It's up in Cleveland area um, whenever I want. And basically, you know, for free. <laughs> and uh, when it's winter time, I can go out there and practice. You know, let's say this is a shot that uh, um, I have a hard time hitting for whatever reason. I can sit here on the tee box and practice it over and over and over again. And when I get to the real course, I can try to, you know, bring in those fields that go along with it. Now, for demo purposes, you can play, um, like, with the mouse. So here, I'll demo this one hole playing with a mouse. I'm horrible at it. Yeah, it, it, see how it zooms in, like, real close like this? So it's kind of weird. But it lets you kind of get a feel for what it looks like, and you can look at it and say, okay, no, that's not even close, or yeah, that's pretty good, or hey, these trees need to be smaller, things like that. So let's see. I think I can change clubs too. Let me change clubs. I'm not very good at this with a mouse. Oh yeah, that was bad. Hang on. There we go. Hey, look at that. Release. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so that's how that works. So. To play your local courses, let me go through this one more time real quick. You need a launch monitor, and uh, like I said, I'm, a, um, I'm the owner of Roxford Golf here, and uh, you can buy um, the SkyTrack through me, and you know if you need a hitting mat or enclosures, those will be here as of this video. It's being made. you got a couple weeks to go, but those will be available here shortly, too. Um, and then there's the control boxes that go along with it. Uh, now these, we manufacture um, these. I actually make those. And those go along with the software. So you don't have to walk back and forth to the computer all the time. But so we have, all right, so you need your um, launch monitor, which would be in this case either a SkyTrack or a Mevo. So I'm going to uh, Mevo Plus, not a Mevo. There's a difference, actually. You want the Mevo Plus. So... I'm going to get rid of these two links. Then you need TGC 2019. And you can get that from Pro-T. Or you can get it from where you bought your SkyTrack from or from the actual SkyTrack website. Then you can either do this part yourself or you can pay somebody to do it. But you're going to need to get the LiDAR data. And depending on where you're at, some LiDAR data just won't work. Or they don't have any that's any good that... that that converts in the program. So you might be out of luck, but for most people, they've been able to um, to do pretty good. I would say it's probably, it's got, if I had to put a number to it, I'd say more than 75% are successful with it. Um, so you're gonna take the LiDAR data and you're gonna take the OpenStreetMap data and then run it through this program, which you can download right here, all these ones that say um, .exe and they just get newer as you go. So there's a problem with the newer one, you can go back to the older one. You take that data, it'll spit out a file, 
And you can learn how to do that part, actually. I have it on my website here. Let me go over to Build a LiDAR Course in TGC 2019. And then here's, you know, the, the blank file for you. Um, the link to Chad's tool. Um, it is free, so if you can donate to Chad, I'm guessing his name's Chad. And there's the map, the link for the map. There's a link for the uh, OpenStreetMap so you can map your course. Here's a video on how to do that. Here's the tutorial of me building a course. Um, and here's like a little quick video on moving trees, flattening tee boxes, moving pins, adding pins, add tee boxes, things like that. And then you're able to come in here. Let me go back. So like I'm in an indie, well, it's called the Indie League. And it's on Tuesday nights, and it's at, oh, hang on, i got to exit here. Um, it's at JC Golf Course. So, this whole winter, let me exit out of all this. This whole winter, I can come in here, and if I had somebody that wanted to play along with me, I could play against them too. But uh, I can come in here, do a local match change courses go to filters I can search if I want to find it um, or I can just go to my courses I think if I do this it'll come up yeah right there there's the beta course so I can click on it I can create match choose my tees I always play from the white tees there so I can hit begin And it's doing its little loading thing here. Depending on what's going on, this is normally pretty quick. I've seen people that said that they had a hard time connecting to things sometimes. But um, I think mine's just going slow because I'm uh, copying all this as I go here. So we can do a flyover of this hole. And that's... I mean, it's pretty spot on to what it looks like. There's the driving range over on the right. There's the, um, as I come in here and look, I can see little things I want to do different um, each time. But that's why this is just the beta version. And then I'll, I'll continue to add new uh, features to it and change some things. And sometimes I'll play a hole and then realize that, oh, wait a minute, I forgot a tree and go back in and add the tree. And when it's all the way done, then I'll actually finish it and post it and call it the actual real name that it is. So let's see if I can't, uh, yeah, so here's the actual, um, let's walk around the course here a little bit, if it'll let me, woo, okay, hang on, there we go. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. Let's see, you can do it this way, yep. There we go, ah, sorry, figuring out how to do the movement thing here. So there's hole number two back there. That's one there, and it gets up here. This is the parking lot. Um, I can put cars in here. Obviously, they don't have every clubhouse that's available. This one doesn't. Our clubhouse don't look like that, but no biggie. Let's go in here. See if I can't find that same view that I had earlier here. There it is. It's kind of hard to move around with the mouse, but like this is hole number eighteen. I mean, and that's that's literally like. It's, it's it's a it's almost perfect. I mean, the, the the way the terrain is, and then hole number fifteen. This is the way that I really tested it out to see if it was accurate. Hole number fifteen here. Let's see if I can get over here. Ah, wrong way. There we go. Oh, there we go. It's backwards. All right. Up is down, and down's up. All right. This hole right here. It has this big platform up here, and you can tell. When the LiDAR data was done, look how accurate that is. I mean, you don't know because you've never seen it, but, I mean, it pulled in that that mound that's on the right side where when they have scrambles, they often put the club, or the club, they often put the hole up here on this little little flat spot. Um, and that's, I mean, that's exactly the way that that looks. And here's the fun thing, too, about being able to play your own courses in your area is like this hole right here, number 16. This one, uh, if I can get over there, there it is. I keep messing up backwards and forwards here. Hold on. Uh -huh. There he is. All right. 
So this is a tee shot that, um, there we go. Sorry, bear with me here. Remember I said everything's backwards. All right, there we go. Uh, right's not right. There we go. This tee shot is like two, oh, I want to say it's like 240 to carry this, um, little stream that's up here. Sorry. Hang on. There we go. That's weird. There we go. To carry this. So what's fun is to get on this tee box back here. And if I can get it to move backwards. Uh, all right. Down is up. Up. No. This way. All right. I got to turn. Either way, what I'm trying to say is, is to get on that tee box and uh, try to hit drives over that that uh, little stream there and see if, um, you know, what I got to do. Or if I want to lay up, I can practice laying up in front of it. Um, and now I'm back on the tee box on hole number one. But point being that, you know, you can practice the shots that from your home course. So that's how that's done. If you have any questions... The best way to ask is if you come over to the website here, this little chat right here, um, that's me, and it rings to my phone whenever you type something in here. So it'll automatically message me and say, um, you know, someone has a question. So if you have a question about the LiDAR courses or TGC or Skytrax or anything like that or how all this works, just shoot me a quick message there. If you want, you can text me to, um, sometime depending on service, this can be a little rough, but if you text me, that's my phone number, text me there, and um, I'll try to answer them as, uh, as quick as I can. Um, let's see, but anyway, so yeah, that's a quick tutorial on, on well, I wouldn't know if I'd call it a tutorial, I'd call it a, a, uh, a public service announcement that it's possible to play your home local courses on a golf simulator. All right, so that's that. And I'll uh, look forward to hearing from anybody if they have any questions about anything.